Ah, a crystal ball. I wonder what all these star pictures mean. Ooh, she has a crystal ball. Hello, my name is... Sarah. Wow, you knew. Of course I did. I'm quite skilled in the mystic arts, my child. My name is Lady Ivana. Would you tell me my future? Normally I would charge you. But with the way things are, I see no point in it. Come closer. I will need to see your Paul. I see that you are far from home, and that you are not who you appear to be. You possess the solution to an important problem, although outside forces conspire against you. How unusual. Your hands tell the stories of someone easily three times your age. Well, I must rest now. But I will give you one final piece of advice. On your way home, beware the pit of darkness. You can only pass through safely when you have sought out the wand, flask, and reflection. Okay, I'm going to forget that immediately. Ooh, oh. wow! That was, like, the worst little explosion effect ever. Pew! Like, that's the sort of, like, That is literally, that looks exactly like the joke explosions you see used in parody videos. Where you just, like, crudely drop in a placeholder or, or like, a stock effect or something like that. That is exactly what I would expect it to look like. Okay, so, what? Yuck! The needle doesn't look very clean. What now? Do I do the bone thing now? A broken piece of mirror. I hope I don't get bad luck. Step right up and test your skill. Oh, wait a minute. What? Oh, God. I need to know this right now, don't I? The pit of darkness. You need the, what'd she say? The wand, the reflection, and something? I have the wand. Inferno says I can use the baton to breathe fire. I guess maybe that's a wand. Um, I have the reflection. I have the shard of glass. But what was the other thing? I don't remember. I didn't really pay attention. Because it was all nonsense. Hmm. Maybe I should have paid attention. Maybe I should have paid attention. Get get the fuck out of my way. Get the f <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna try to get the creature out. With the lockpick. We'll see if that works. Has anything changed in here? Prove your One ticket buys you a chance at the no. Step right up and test your skill. Only one ticket. And now we're gonna painfully, slowly walk down to the cage, but not before making a stop at the squid squash because I need some more tickets. I only have one, and I need five. Let's do another quick save. Quick save. Quick save. Quick save. I just made that song up now. Do you like it? I'm proud of it. I've never. May I? May I? Sure. If you. Oh, I don't. Tisk tisk. Wait, 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 wait. I need tickets, but I have a, I have a, I have a pass. What are you talking about? I've got a broken piece of mirror. I've got a game ticket. Shit. Uh, where am I gonna get more tickets? I thought. What happened to my pass? Calling all shops. I'll take a shot. One ticket. I have enough tickets. Keep your eyes on the pig. Come on. Come on. Don't and let me down, finger. Sarah. Wee. Hmm. Wee. <laughs> Step right up and test your skills. Hmm. Nice and shooting, Eagle Eye. Why, thank you. How many do I have now? Three. Let's try this one. 
One ticket buys you a chance I've at the pitch. One. I have. Oh. We. Oh, poo. Ah. Sorry. Calling all sharpshooters. Come on, Ooh, come you're... on, Sarah. You can do better than this. You, you're better than this, Sarah. I'll take it. I'll... Keep. Hmm. We. <laughs> hmm. And now I have. Oh, I have four. <laughs> I'll one more time. Come on, Sarah. Come on. Come on. Hmm. We. Okay. I should have six. Hmm. Now I have six. Okay. I have enough to get in, and I have one more for using more games to get more tickets. Excuse me. It. <laughs> Get out of my way, it. <laughs> Fucking creepy. No one likes you, it. Look. Thank you. It's weird that you have to pay every single time you want in. Wouldn't it be like a... I mean... Seems like it should be like a day pass thing. Anyway, let's pick this lock. That would be very... Wait, am I using the right thing? Here we go, okay. Please don't eat my face. That's it. Oh, oh, oh. Free. Free. Thank you. Bones. Rah, rah, dig them up. <laughs> Ow! I really like the voice acting. That they did. I really like the voice acting of that character. Whatever the hell he's called. That creature. It's really good. Kind of funny and kind of creepy at the same time, which is perfect for this game. All right, well, it went somewhere over there. So, let's go see what he dug up. If I can get there. Oh, going up these stairs is so fun. Wee! Ooh, better get a couple dozen quick saves here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There we go, 12 quick saves. Uh, where did he go? Did, how, how far down did he dig? And wait a minute, what's this? Those look like game tickets. Oh. Why are game tickets just on the ground? Hmm, huh, apparently that was three game tickets. Cool. Well, that would be the Pit of Darkness, right? What did she say? What did she say that I needed? I've got the wand. I've got the reflection. The mirror thing. Was there a third item? Save game. I don't know. Turn to game. But, YOLO! The cave. Ooh, look! There's blurry skull skulls in the foreground. That's comforting. Alright, so obviously the squid is down here. Are those... human bones? Just a bunch of dry twigs. Dry twigs? What can you do with dry twigs? It says rub and... That didn't work. Wait, seriously, you're not gonna light a fire with the dry twig twigs? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. It's, there's gotta be a way. I don't... And a broken... Okay, okay, whatever, whatever. No way. The water's too dark. No way. The water's so dark. 
So I do need to make a fire. And I can't do that. Maybe I'll try. Inferno says I can use the baton to breathe fire. So use it. There's gotta be a way. Yes, the way is to use the baton to breathe fire onto the dry twigs. What am I missing? Just a bunch of dry twigs. Just a bunch. It says rubbing alcohol. I can't combine items. I cannot combine items. You can't it's drag. And for a broken piece of mirror. I hope I don't. Huh? They're burning. What? What? You, you, what? You, you're, you, you come up, you learn how to breathe fire with rubbing alcohol and a baton thing. You learn how to breathe fire. But you don't use that to start a fire with the dry twigs. I you, could use a nap. You use a shard of mirror. You don't use your ability to breathe fire to start a fire. You use a shard of mirror in the light. What? Ooh, that looks hot. Or do I need a fire source to breathe fire? But I mean, I assume the wand like had that built in or something. Inferno. No, it's apparently not. Apparently, you have to light it on fire. Okay, I. That no one explained how it worked. In here somewhere. Oh God, this is a boss fight. This is a boss fight. Save. No one explained how this baton worked. Or maybe she didn't. I didn't pay attention. Shh. Never happened. Oh. Oh. Apparently this place is very weak. Okay. Stupid stalactites. Uh, uh, stalactites. They're falling on my face. Burn. That'll teach you to play nice. Seriously, what is up with these stalactites? Why are they falling? Is there a freaking earthquake? Ooh. Ooh. God. Seriously, why are these stalactites falling falling so much? That'll teach you to play nice. I can't see myself. Where am I? Okay, there I am. Uh. Okay, it spits acid or something like that. That thing is disgusting. Oh my god. I guess I need to go in between spittings. Oh, back out, back out. I was well, I wasn't close enough. Okay, yeah, but here, how about here? Come on, come oh. on. Ow! There. Oh. I just died. Oh god! Whoa! You actually see her body floating. That's disturbing. And whoa, whoa! What the heck? And we do it all over again. Apparently her body floats all the way- oh god. Her body floats all the way back and then you get back up? That is really creepy. Whew, that was close. If you, got a, if you get hit by one of those, do you instantly die? Because in reality, if you got hit by one of those, you would instantly die. Alright, let's try this again. I have to say, that monster is very stupid. It has a very big eye, but for some reason it doesn't seem to spit when it sees you, but just at regular intervals. Very suspicious. Almost like it's a ridiculous boss fight that was just programmed into a game. And not actually a creature. Hmm. Just hang out here for a second. Okay. Oh. 
Like, do I have any way to avoid that? Okay. See you in hell, freak. I think you're already in hell. And I think I just saw it. In hell. Because that's where I am. The mansion. What the heck? There's something wrong with the wall. It appears to be a bit... Well, it looks like someone took it in... Uh, used Liquify on it in Photoshop. Creepy. Making me nauseous. That would be very disturbing to look at. The walls are squirming, like they're not even real. Woo, that looks hot. Ow! <laughs> I knew that would happen. I mean, she just said it looked hot, and then I just tried to touch it with my bare hands. But I did it anyway. I have no items. Whoa, did I just see something come out of this? Hold on, I just saw something here. There's a little drain. Let's watch it. Let's watch the drain. Drain. I saw you. Drain. 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 There we go. I don't know what that is. Right. I'm going upstairs. after we tried to find the doll for his sister, but it couldn't. Oh, whoa. So this is Max's house when he was a kid, but it's warped. Like, like this is, wow, this is really cool. So this is like a representation of his house when he was a kid from within his mind, but his mind is twisted and it has holes, which I think is why so many things are distorted and messed up. Because no one has a perfect memory. Memory is very malleable. Yuck, the food in here is all rotten. Ugh. Stephen, stop that. It's not done yet. No, oh, come on. I'm starving. When will it be ready? Oh, the same time as it is every other day. Six o'clock and you know it. Now shoot. All right, I'll be in my study until six o'clock. <gasps> Something's burnt up in the bottom. I don't even want to know what it is. Well, I guess it was I guess it was left in past six o'clock. <laughs> I think it was left in there for years. Something's burnt. Hmm. Let's leave that closed. I do see a clock. Maybe I need to like turn back time or something. He did specifically mention. Uh, the father did specifically mention. He'll be in a study until 6 or something like that, so I'm guessing time is probably something I need to alter here. Just a hunch, though. I don't know. What the hell's going on in the bathroom? Looks like there's, like, dust in the bathtub. You can actually see your reflection. That's cool. Is there something in there? 
<laughs> okay, this game just shot up. This game just shot up in, uh, in likability for me. Any game that has a toilet with, as far as I can tell, absolutely no purpose, but simply a toilet that's functional, is awesome. Every game should have functional toilets, even if it serves no practical purpose whatsoever. <laughs> that is a thing of beauty. I can't go that way. I don't think I can go there. Uh, what? I don't even know what that is. Is it the top of like a dryer or a washer? I can't go that way. Don't know. Oh, I can't even look at the bathtub. It's a shame. The walls are squirming like they're not even real. What a wonderful old clock. Hmm, seems I can maybe manipulate it. It's locked. Oh, poo. Okay, so before I can do that, I need a key. Or something, whatever opens it. I guess this is the family that lived here. Isn't she, isn't she gonna see herself in the pictures? Somebody's grandpa. What a pretty lady. What a pretty lady. I guess this is the fa somebody's grandpa. What's a creepy little room? And there's nothing in it. It's locked. Ah, this one's locked too. What just happened? Oh, it went away. Okay, so it shows up it shows up when you get near the door. And when you go away, it disappears. And the key appears? Is that what I'm seeing? Get near it, the key yeah, the key disappears. Hmm. Interesting. Weird, the paintings move. Weird, the paintings move. I can see the other island. Birdhouse. All right, so we have two locked things. We have the clock that's locked and this door that's locked. And looks like we can go up the hallway here, and we can also go upstairs. Well, what is going on here? The walls are squirming like they're not even real. I guess that's where the house ends, or at least his memory of the house ends. I guess this is the family that lived here. I'm gonna be a doctor when I grow up. If you keep doing well in school, I don't see why not. You really think so? Of course, dear. I'm sure you'd be a wonderful doctor. <gasps> and he did become a doctor, as we saw. This must be the ugly cousin. All right, let's go upstairs. It's the only place left, I think. I still don't have any items, right? No, no items. It's really cool that you get to go around in a, a house of the mind. Oh wow, this house is really big. 
Also, I think people weren't kidding when they said the game gets more stable. Because I haven't had a single crash in... For about 40 minutes. Yeah, about 40 minutes without a single crash. Nice. Alright, looks like the walls are bleeding or... Actually, that kind of looks like ink. Oh my god, the walls are bleeding. Or, well, I guess everything's desaturated, so maybe that was blood, but it's just not red. Oh my god. Oh my... Is another spirit going to appear in the chair? No. Or at least, not yet. Hold on, can I go over here? Okay, that's a door, even though you can barely see it as, like, two pixels. Ooh, can I flush this toilet? <laughs> yes, I can. Oh. My poor baby. This would have kept you warm at the circus. She's pretty. For a ghost. Oh, there's a sewing machine. It's rocking all by itself. Oh, wait a minute. Let me go down first. Oh, poo. It's locked. Ah. All right, that's three locked things now. I can't go that way. Why not? Wait, what am I stuck on? weird. There's apparently something here that I can't walk down. Look. Even though I'm not near the wall. Okay, at least this one isn't locked. A train set. That looks suspiciously like an asylum. Right there, that building in the middle of the train set. A radio. I wonder if I can get any music. <laughs> Do you want to try? Something tells me it's going to be spectral demon music. Mercy Corporation stocks continue to rise as the hope drug treatment is being used worldwide. Alright, so there was some epidemic. Something to do with meat. It sounded like some meat epidemic. Nope, nope, nope. This doll only has one eye, but four arms. Ew. I'm sorry, Sarah. I couldn't find it. I looked and looked. It's a ghost boy. I feel like I know him. That's because he's you. Seriously, they use the same sound again? Whee! <laughs> the trains are moving, but they aren't plugged in. The train... the living room. <gasps> Stephen, why do you do this to yourself? I just miss her, Diane. I miss her a lot. We all do, honey. But torturing yourself watching old videotapes every night isn't the answer. Come to bed. It's getting late. I guess you're right. So I kept watching old videotapes of Sarah after her death. Old family videos. Oh, there's a key. A brass key. Wonder what it's for.
a breath. The walls are squirming like they're not even real. Oh, you can go. You can go even further upstairs. Hold on, before I leave this room, though, let me see what this key is for. Well, I'm not going to check downstairs, but I'm at least going to check this door. Uh, maybe I'll try it later. Seriously? Um, oh, okay. Actually, look at that key. A brass key. Wonder what it's for. Doesn't really look like a normal key. It's probably for the clock, I'm guessing. Most likely for the clock, yeah. Oh, poo. It's locked. Or maybe it's for there. Oh, that didn't work. Never mind. Okay, it's probably for the clock. The clock is open. Now I can move the hands. Okay, that's what I thought. Let's hope being at the screen isn't going to cause the game to crash like it did when I was at the water puzzle screen. Because this is the same sort of screen. As that. Where you can interact with stuff. So. What time is it? Looks like it's actually past six. Oh, poo. Right, how do I move these? Oh, what the? What did I just do? I guess I set it to 12 o'clock? Well, I did something. Okay, whatever I did, I He's think... He's a whoa. big ghost. Whatever I did, I think is going to get me this key, so okay, that worked out. A silver key. It's all shiny. Oh, looks like there's a videotape here, too. Here's a videotape. It says... Home movies. Oh, it's gonna be of Sarah. It's gonna be depressing to watch. Let's go check the oven, though. I wonder if it's not burnt anymore. Do you think it would change because I changed the time? Can I change the time again? What a wonderful old clock. No, okay, you can only change it once. So there's nothing more I need to do with it. I can't... Something's burnt up in the... Never mind. It's still burnt. All right, let's go check the home movie. Turn this thing off if you give me a big hug. Well, okay. As long as you don't tell Max where this is. <laughs> okay, okay. Now where's that big hug? <laughs> Love you, Daddy. Love you too, Pumpkin. Hmm. Let's go try this key down here. Down here. Something tells me my final destination is as up as I can go. So, since we're probably doing that in stages, I'm guessing the key is not for there Here's yet. A, that would be very, very, I don't think. What are you talking about? Maybe. I'll okay. It's locked, right? Oh, it's locked. Yeah. Never mind, let's try it over here. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, 
I am completely wrong, never mind. What a mess. Oh god, look at this place. Completely covered in stuff and very twisted. Look at these massive stuffed teddy bears. Hey, that's where the key is hidden. Oh. Ooh, this key is gold. Awesome, we went from silver to gold. MLG no scope key grab. I can't get past that old pile of junk. I bet there are all kinds of games and toys in there. Oh, that's the chest, isn't it? The one where uh, Max was searching for the doll. Or whatever, what was he searching for? I think it was a doll, wasn't it? I can't get... Right, so I can't get past it. I can't get to it. Wow, doesn't that look fun? Unless I bounce over it. Oh my god, what? N okay. Just ex just accept it. J just accept it, okay? Okay? Just don't 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 think about it. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. It's locked. Oh poo. Here's I'm coming, I'm com- I actually, wait, how do I get out of here? No way! Um, what? I guess it's a one-way bear- oh, whatever. Don't think about it, don't think about it, don't think about it. I guess it's steeper over here than it is on the other side, even though I'm pretty sure she could climb it- Don't, don't think about it, don't think about it, don't think about it. It's okay. Just don't, don't worry, don't worry. She's waiting? Who's she? I mean, it sounds like he's talking about Sarah, right? You found it. She's waiting. He was trying to find something for his sister, but I am M. I am Max's sister, so it would be for me. Come on, Slowpoke. She's waiting. I know, I know. Hi, me. An old dollhouse. It looks like a toy chest. It's rocking all by itself. This is too creepy. This is too creepy. What a neat dolly. I'll call him Mr. Clown. Oh yeah, a clown doll, that's comforting. Clown dolls are so adorable. You little it thing. I'll put you in the dollhouse on the... Where do I put you? I guess I just give you... Yeah. Here, have the gift of nightmares. You found it after all these years. I'm sorry it took so long. I'm so sorry. Don't be sad, Max. Whoa. I thought... I thought I let you down when you needed me most. No, don't think that. You, you could never let me down. You're my hero. He hero? You're trying to save all those kids. I know you can do it. I love you. I, I love you too. The laboratory. Don't worry. I'll watch over him. Goodbye, Sarah. It's time for me to face the future. Rest well. Face the future? Max, something tells me that's not going to happen just yet. 
Oh god, is that her corpse? Her s skeleton? Just a child. Could it have died here? You realize that's... Sarah, right? I mean, look, that's the doll right next to her. Just a child. That's Sarah's corpse. I took her with me into this... vision. Please, I've had enough of the circus. <laughs> no kidding, please, no more circuses. No more clowns. Alright, it's raining like crazy. Do I see bloodstains in there? There's massive bloodstains inside of the window. Okay. More gargoyles. I feel like they're always watching me. It has now been almost an hour since a crash. Very nice. This gate is shut tight. What could be so important inside? I don't know, but I see a big pool of blood. This gate... <laughs> you know, I just realized. His face is going to be covered in wet bandages. That would be uncomfortable. Do I have any items on me? No. Ah, out of the rain. Stern-looking fellow? Where do I know him from? Impressive, isn't it? Yes. The artist really captured his strength in this pose. I'd introduce you to him, but he's, um, visiting my mother. She's been feeling run down lately, so my father thought it best that she get some rest at the clinic. I guess we should be going. We don't, uh... Jacob! I wasn't expecting you. I assumed with finals coming up next week that you'd be spending your time in the library. Instead, I find you here, wasting valuable time. I've more than prepared for the finals, Father. You needn't be concerned. I'll do just fine. You'll do just fine? Fine. Is that your goal? I thought I taught you better than that. Anyone can do fine. I don't want you to be just like every other student at medical school turns out. Remain focused on what is important, Jacob. Yes, Father. Feel dizzy. Wait, Jacob? I mean, you're talking about uh, him going to medical school, so it sounds like that's me, but he called him Jacob. Instead of Max. Huh. A pipe valve. Strange thing to hide behind a painting. <laughs> Not in an adventure game. Stern looking. A radio. Wonder if I can get any news from the outside world. Today the world mourns as children who successfully responded to the hope drug begin to die. Oh. Well, that was uplifting. I'm going to leave now. Children that have responded to the... That's what it said. Children that have responded to the hope drug begin to die, right? Today the world mourns as children who successfully responded to the hope drug begin to die. That is incredibly ironic. <laughs> hope is dying. They got the hope drug and now they're dying. Did, did this actually happen, though? I mean, I'm wondering if that's... I'm wondering if there was an actual... An actual literal plague uh, outbreak. Or whether this is just created in his mind. Maybe the outbreak is just kind of like a metaphor for... I don't know. Just a metaphor for sickness? They tried to treat the sickness with the hope drug, right? And now it's not working. Hope wasn't I enough. I need to get moving. Shut up. That's actually really interesting. Yeah. The hope drug was attempted to treat the disease of the flesh, the disgusting meat. But it didn't work, it sounded like. 
sounded like it didn't work. That could extremely easily just be a metaphor. Interesting. I mean, well, hell. I mean, basically everything in this game could be a metaphor for practically anything. There's gotta be a lot of possible interpretations for this game's storyline just because of its nature. Interesting. What the hell is this machine? It's like a torture device. Doesn't seem to be working. Must need power first. What a strange device. I wonder what it controls. What a strange... What a strange... What a strange... What a... Pipe valve. Needs power first. Doesn't seem to be... What a strange... What a str Unfortunately, I'm forced to click on it a million times because I don't know if any of these are separate hotspots because the game doesn't have a hotspot indicator. It doesn't have a hotspot indicator, right? I'm Keyboard configuration. I don't think so. Text option. No. Turn to game. I mean, unless... No, no, I, I don't think so. Unless it's hidden, it doesn't. There's a hexagonal hole at this pipe junction. Hmm. Oh, apparently I'm supposed to use the, uh... Pipe valve. The pipe valve on this almost impossible to see little bit of blackness over here in the shadows. Okay. Power! Let there be power! Well, let's see if that accomplished anything. What is this device for? It looks like it's gonna shoot a huge ball down a hole, but why? It seems that the rotating electromagnet is linked to the stone weight, but what is the machine's purpose? Okay. I have to actually do something. Please don't crash. Flippy thing. Well, that didn't work. Hmm. This is gonna be interesting. What? Oh, of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't the game crash? Okay, you know what, I'm just... Well, okay. Those interactive um, puzzle-solving bits seem to just lead to a million crashes. So... I think I'm gonna do the walkthrough thing again. We'll see how that goes. I'll be right back. Okay. I did it off-camera again. I didn't want to create a bunch of tiny little recordings if the game was just going to crash again and again. This one wasn't too bad. It only crashed, I think, two times before I solved it. But yeah, I just... I just D did a bunch of stuff, pulled a bunch of levers, used the walkthrough, and it released the ball, and it went through this whole contraption, and it opened this gate, and that's all that happened. It's, I really, you know what I'm really fascinated by? Is what makes games, old games, unstable. In such seemingly random, but not completely random ways. As you can see, this game will crash, kind of randomly, just throughout. During dialogue, when you're just walking around, whatever. But it's not completely random. Because it seems to be extremely heightened in its sensitivity to crashing, in its proclivity for crashing, during those interactive puzzle sequences. I want to know what is happening in those sequences that makes it so likely to crash. Like within the code, within how it's interacting and within how your computer's processing it, I want to know what is happening to make it so unstable only during those sequences specifically. Why? I'll probably never know, but I'm really curious. Oh my god, it looks like a slaughterhouse. Jesus. Let me help you. God, such an idiot. Patience is the key, Max. Never let the problem get the better of you. You know, I wasn't always this brilliant. <laughs> I don't believe you. Oh, I used to botch my lab tests constantly. But I stuck with it and learned from my mistakes. You're my brightest student, Max. And you have the most potential out of all your classmates. Now oh, come on, we still have a lot of work to do. I wish I understood. <laughs> what was with the comical ex... Like... Ex... 
explosive chemical reaction thing coming out like someone put a particle effect on the, uh, on the top of that f gigantic flask thing and then just, like, accidentally left it on. That was a comically large beaker flask thing and a comically huge particle effect that just kept coming out. That... <laughs> was that intended to be humorous? Because that was hilarious. Wow. Who would butcher these people like this? Looks like they've been experimented on. Maybe. Hopefully they were dead first. Jesus. Who would butcher these people like this? There's blood everywhere. How could anyone describe such atrocities so, so clinically? Oh god. It's terrible. Yuck. How could anyone describe such atrocities so, so clinically? Hmm. How am I supposed to get there? Um, Max? How am I supposed to get there? Max? How am I supposed to get there? <sighs> Max, you, you get there by walking forwards two feet. Like that. that. That's how you get there, Max. The local authorities are becoming increasingly suspicious of events here at the asylum. To ensure that my research continues unabated, I must rewrite the locking code for the back lab and move the subject's bodies down to the crematorium before the sheriff arrives for an inspection. The chalkboards must also be washed clean, for they contain the encrypted codes hey, needed Dr. to- Hey, Dr. Morgan, uh, yeah, we looked everywhere, but we ain't been able to find them. What? That's the third time this week. Uh, but I mean, uh, I mean, maybe- Spare me your insight. They're pathetic. A man cannot vanish into- <sighs> Both of you, get this wretch out of here. He's too damn old for my purposes. As for our missing patient, I'll find him myself. Yeah, but what about this stuff? Uh, shouldn't we ought to clean up here? I mean, before the inspection, I mean... I'm uh, aware of it. We'll take care of this mess after we find him. What the hell was going on here? Did this actually happen, or is this just within Max's mind? These experimentations at the asylum. Alright, well, the password is apparently on the... Uh, the chalkboards. Wait, is that gonna play it again? The chalkboard has for. Yep. Alright, it's gotta be the password to this, right? Oh god, there's bloody handprints all over it. Well, this isn't working. Oh god. It's terrible. There's some kind of electronic security system on this door. There's another interactive scene? No, it's not. Enter code. Damn! <laughs> what What did you enter? I just pressed enter code and then he just said, damn, uh, okay. I mean, I don't have a code, so that's fine. Okay. I have a feeling there's a message hidden in this rambling mess. I search in vain for the elusive solution to this, a most intriguing puzzle. Evading me the way a mouse does a cat, the source of insanity remains hidden from me. Darting from flesh to muscle, muscle to bone, and back again to the fortress of the mind, this evil seems always to maintain one step ahead of me. How can I trap what I cannot see? Surely I am close to the source by now. Eventually it must rest, and when it does, I will be there to ensnare this beast. Once removed from its host, I am confident that it will wither and die like the weed that it is. Knowing now how difficult it is to find this hidden monster, I am led to believe that the age of my test subjects may be a factor. Younger subjects tend to display less evidence of infection. The madness is so entrenched within the aged frames of my older subjects that it is nearly impossible to discern the sane tissue from the insane. The sane tissue? What the hell are you talking about? There's no such thing as sane or insane tissue. How is the code hidden in here? What am I supposed to do with this? Can I, like, examine something specifically? I mean, the hand icon's showing up, but nothing's happening. Let's take a look at the other ones. 
I have a feeling there's a message hidden in this rambling mess. Experiments 1 and 2 were complete failures. Unexpected complications during my exploration into the brains of the test subjects regrettably cost them their lives. The loss of a few lives is negligible when compared to the benefits that a cure may bring. Obviously, I was in air when I thought the root of insanity grew from the brain itself. Housed elsewhere within the complex frame of the human body lies the key, but where? There are so many dark avenues to explore that I hardly know where to begin. Humbled by this daunting task, I need time to regroup before I renew my search for this elusive prey. Years of research have taught me to be patient, else all could be lost in a reckless pursuit for the solution. What if that's a hint? Okay, two things, two possible hints here. Housed elsewhere within the complex frame of the human body lies the key. Possible hint, maybe the key is elsewhere within the complex frame of the human body, other than the brain. Also, apparently he thought he was in error when he thought the root of insanity grew from the brain itself. That means he's fucking insane. Of course insanity comes from the brain. Where else would it come from? You can't... He seems to think insanity comes from the flesh. I mean, previously he was talking about insane from the... Uh, being able to tell, discern, the sane from the insane tissue, right? Which doesn't make any damn sense. And now he's saying he doesn't think it comes from the brain. The hell is wrong with him? Is that what he, what he was doing, cutting them open all the time? Looking for the insane part? He's mutilating the, mutilating the corpses, looking for bits of insanity? As, a, as if it's some physical thing that you would find? Alright. Well, if the key lies in the body, maybe it's like hidden in a body. Do I have to root around in a body? I have a feeling there's a message hidden in this rambling mess. I don't know, but let's read the last one. I stand at a crossroads. Shall I venture forth to unravel the mysteries that lurk beneath the mundane flesh? Or turn back in fear of what I may find? At times, I feel as though the weight of the world rests upon my weary shoulders. Lacking any sense of direction, I have blindly followed in the footsteps of those who walked before me. Valiant, though my intentions may have been, I was powerless to stem the tide of insanity that washed against the shores of the asylum. Although conventional medicine has yielded a few encouraging results, I see no indication that an answer will be found using those methods. The time for conservative medicine has passed, and a new approach is necessary. Outside of the mainstream, with scalpel in hand and hope in my heart, I now prepare to tread upon the virgin soil of the mind. No longer bound by the archaic standards of traditional medicine, I feel reborn. He has been reborn into a monster. Okay, I forgot to mention the previous clue on the uh, previous board, but yeah, he mentioned the failure of experiments 1 and 2. So those are two numbers, 1 and 2. And here he said, I shall venture forth. It's a possible code, maybe, for... Right? I mean, that's not concrete at all. Let's see if I can root around inside of the corpses. Who would butcher these people like this? Oh, oh god, it's terrible. Nope, I can't. Which is good, good, I don't want to have to do that. Alright, let me see if it allows me to even enter a code. Enter code, enter what code? Damn! What? I, I don't get it. It's not even allowing me to enter a code. Which seems to imply that my character is the one that needs to find the code, not me. If you know what I mean. So... Alright, let me take one more brief look. And if I can't figure it out, I I'm going to use a walkthrough. I search in vain for the elusive solution mm -hmm. to this, a most intriguing puzzle. Evading me the way a mouse does a cat, the source of insanity remains hidden from me. How can I trap what I cannot see? Knowing now... I 
feel like there's something I've missed that I can click on. Is there? Okay, screw it. Walk through time. This should be fast enough that I can keep you here. Okay, walk through the laboratory, repeat, uh-huh, so take in the carnage and play the, look at the cache of the chocolates, click the first, click the first letter of each sentence. What? You... Click the first letter of I each sentence. A... I didn't even know you could I do that. I in vain for the elusive solution to this a most what? intriguing puzzle. How can I... No one... Stop, stop, just, just stop I talking. Ha... I search... How can I... Knowing now... Okay. You can click the first letter of each sentence. The game told... They just shoved in a random game mechanic where you can click on the first letter of each sentence and they didn't even tell me that I could even do that. I clicked everywhere. It went like this and nothing happened. You just have to... Wait, do you seriously have to just randomly click the beginning of each sentence until you form the correct thing? Click the first letter of each sentence, unscramble the letters, so they... Wow, really, that's the puzzle? Okay. The puzzle is apparently you're supposed to click on the letter of each sentence until, for some reason, you arbitrarily can copy down some letters and arbitrarily can't copy down the other letters. Nope, 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 nope. Does it pop up so I can at least see which ones I can click on without doing it? Get the hand there, yep, D. Really, that's the puzzle. That is about the dumbest damn puzzle ever invented. There's no reason why I should copy down some letters and not the other. You're not using your brain, you're just mindlessly clicking on everything to get this, and then you have to unscramble the letters. Was there like one per, uh, one per line or something? Wow, this is fun. It's a brilliant puzzle here, guys. Good job. I'm glad I used the walkthrough. Really, I mean, if I get stuck at all, I really get the feeling I should just use the walkthrough, because chances are the fault is not mine. Let's hope I'm not missing one. Come on. This is so stupid. This this is so stupid. You know what? I'm gonna I'm, yeah I'm gonna cut this out until I get the solution. This is dumb. I'm not gonna make you watch this. I don't want to play this, so I'm sure you don't want to watch it. All right. Well, I did them all. That took about six minutes of agonizingly going over every single word to see which ones I could click on, and then organizing them into sentences. Even though I knew exactly what to do, it still took six minutes. It was not fun. That was one of the worst puzzles I've ever seen in my life. Okay, we're done. Thank God. Um, what was it? Youth... Youth... Hides... Hides... The key to salvation? The... Key... To... Salvation. Youth hides the key to salvation. Okay, bingo. <laughs> the walkthrough, by the way, this part. Right now it says, um, after doing this, it says go over to the voice lock and say youth hides the key to salvation, and then it says walk into the lab, be shocked and amazed. <sighs> so apparently we, according to the walkthrough, we are supposed to be shocked and amazed. Are you ready? Prime your shocking mechanisms. Get your brain ready to be amazed. Are you ready? Okay. I have no idea what's going to happen, by the way. Will I be shocked and amazed? Come in here. 
I, uh, um... We've been through this before. If you ever want to get better, you have to let me help you. I know all this must be confusing to you. Even frightening. But this work is going to help so many people. Sick people. People with no hope. No! No! Calm down. You're going to hurt yourself. Those straps can hold a man twice your strength. No! The Hive. I'm going to be playing that character, aren't I? <laughs> the only good bug is a dead one. This is so awesome. You keep, like, going into different avenues of your mind, things from your past, your sister. This is, like, from a, a comic book that you used to read. That is so cool. Security barrier by unidentified being. Recalibrate ID harness before entering field. Look at how fast I go. Way better than Sarah. This game is really cool. I really like what they're doing here. With the different characters and the completely different environments that all come from within your mind. Alright, what did I just kill? Hmm, this thing has some kind of mechanical harness. Maybe we should harness the power of the harness. Wearing this harness, perhaps they'll think I'm one of them. It's worth a try. I guess I need to use, like, uh... Well, I mean, it's supposed to be from, like, a comic book, right? And this seems kind of sci-fi-y and comic booky. So, I guess I should reason as if I'm in, like, a... a I don't know, a pulpy comic book, or whatever you want to call it. That thing's squirting out eggs. That's disgusting. Ah, a heap of disgusting insect eggs. This building appears to have served some special function. ID confirmed. Drone guard class, Sector 7. Proceed. Oh, apparently what I killed was a drone guard. How could she even move her sickeningly bloated bulk? Drone guard class not permitted within the Queen's chamber. Entry denied. Grap. <laughs> okay, need to be something higher up than a drone guard. Ugh, I can hardly stand to look at these beasts. This building appears to have served... I could barely see the ground through all the clouds. Wait, what? You can barely see the ground through all the clouds. So wait, we're in air? We're in the air? We're floating? Is this a ship? God, you move so fast. Very nice. I could barely see... 